welcome today we are going to learn about the southern western blotting southern western blotting it is the combination of the two techniques and that two techniques it is a southern blot and a western blot and this technique okay this technique it is a very powerful technique and which is involved into the identification of the protein and dna interaction that is to explore the to explore the protein dna interactions the southern western blot technique it is going to be used now there are number of proteins which are interacting with the dna the proteins that you have isolated that proteins they are uh, they are going to interact with the dna or not it can be identified with the help of the blotting technique and that blotting technique it is a southern western blotting in that you can identify most of the time it is used for the identification of the transcription factors and that transcription factors which are involved into the regulation of the gene expression now when you uh, talk about the southern western blotting in that uh, you may say that uh, in the southern blot, we run the gels of the DNA and in the western blot, we run the gels of the proteins. Then actually in the southern western blotting, which types of the gels it is going to be run? Now here in the southern western blotting, we can separate first the proteins or you can separate the DNA and any one of them, it is going to be used for the southern western blotting. That is separation of the proteins or the separation of the DNA. It is going to be used for the southern western blotting. Now here we have uh, uh, here we have shown that uh, there is the separation of the proteins and that uh, that proteins now uh, they are separated by the SDS page. So the first step, it is the isolation of the proteins and after isolation of the proteins, the proteins, they are going to be separated with the help of the technique and that it is what it is the SDS phase, which is alike in the Western blotting. Now, after that, as it is a blotting technique, you have to blot it. Okay. So here, the uh, uh, these, the bands, they are going to be transported over the nitrocellulose membrane or the PVDF. Okay, on the PVDF or the or the nitrocellulose membrane with the help of the electroblotting. Okay, you are going to transfer the bands of the proteins over the membrane and after blotting. Okay, first you have to block. Okay, you have to block the membrane. That is where there is a no presence of the proteins. Okay, that that part on the membrane it has to be covered with the help of the blocking agents and that blocking agents they are nothing but they are the neutral proteins like the BSA or like the milk proteins okay after blotting then you are going to add the radio label DNA as it is what as it is a protein okay as it is a protein so here the probes that you are going to add that probes it is a radio label dna and this radio label dna it is allowed to hybridize with whom it is allowed to hybridize with the proteins which are now present over whom which are now present over this membrane okay which are present over this membrane okay that proteins now they are allowed to interact with the radio label dna that is with the with the probes and the probes here it is a dna so when so when you are you you are going to separate the proteins on the sds page and uh sds page at that time you are going to use the probes and that probes it is of the dna and when and when you are going to separate out the dna at that time here you have to use the label proteins for the identification of the dna so you are allowing it to hybridize that is there will be the interaction between the dna and the protein okay and after this interaction then you are going to wash the unbound dna probes and after washing then you are going for the detection and that detection it is with the help of the autoradiography so here you are going to observe the spots okay the black spots where they are going to be observed at that time you are going to say that the protein of the interest it is present here and that protein it is able to interact with the dna and now the probe it is a known sequence of the nucleotide so you can say that the nucleotide sequence this it is a nucleotide sequence where the protein it is going to bound that is with uh, by using the southern western blotting not only you are going to find out the in the protein it is going to interact with the dna but also you can find out the dna sequence where the protein it is going to bound 
Okay, so this it is a technique which is called as a southern western blotting, which is a very powerful technique for the identification of the interaction between the DNA and the proteins. Okay, uh, I think you may have clear your ideas about the southern western blotting. Uh, if you like my video, please subscribe my channel and also share my videos with your friends. If you have any doubts, if you have any comments, you can write down into the comment box. Thank you.